Hey guys, Thunder E here, and this video we're talking about which device has the brightest display in direct sunlight. Now, some of you wonder, well, hey, I've seen this video before. Yes, I did put it up earlier, and some of you actually mentioned that I didn't activate Bright Boost on the LG G7 ThinQ, so I took the video down and I did the whole thing again. So, thank you very much for the extra work. That being said though, LG's claim is that this display on the G7 ThinQ is one of the brightest on the market. So we compared it against the iPhone X, the Galaxy S9 Plus, and the Huawei P20 Pro to find out who has the brightest display in direct sunlight. So picking up the G7 ThinQ, we have the bright boost on, which is what I didn't do last time. So it's on its brightest mode. The display is visible. You can see the white and black background, which is what we're using in this test. And you can also see the icons as well. When we move into the browser, uh, going to the Border Work homepage, you can see the text. Although again, it, it seems like it's a little tinted, but you can clearly see in, of course, direct sunlight here. So that is to show you that it actually works. Moving over to the iPhone, uh, the iPhone 10. Uh, the white background is more visible. It's actually much brighter. It also looks much more whiter. It's on its brightest mode here. And as we swipe and look at the icons, it's clearly visible as well. Moving over to the browser, you can see text as well. It's also much brighter. The white background showcases more than it was on the G7 Thank You. So it looks pretty good. I, I like it and uh, solid. Now the Galaxy S9 Plus, um, turn that on and this is going to move up to its brightest mode pretty soon so it's getting brighter it's it's on this brightest setting now the white background is visible it's not as white as the iPhone 10 but it's wider than G7 apps are visible um, and uh, you can clearly see them and then we go into the browser the background of the whites also is more visible uh, this is kind of hard to shoot in direct sunlight it was painful to be honest, but um, you can clearly see uh, the text there and the lettering and uh, looks pretty good. So we'll set that down. And then finally, the Huawei P20 uh, Pro. Uh, P20 Pro white background is also visible in direct sunlight. Uh, you can see it's on its brightest mode as well. And uh, we're going to go into the browser in a second, but you can see the apps. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go to the browser. Come on, do that. There we go. And there, that's the browser. You can clearly see that. It's uh, visible, it's clear. Not as clear as the iPhone 10 and the Galaxy S9 Plus, but it's still visible. I would say the iPhone and the Galaxy win in this round. So moving over to multicolored backgrounds, signing with the G7 Thank You. Brightness boost is up. You can clearly see it is much brighter. The colors do come out. So multicolored background, dip rex sunlight, really works well with this. Uh, much more visible. The iPhone 10 is is also more visible and actually brighter than the G7 ThinQ with this multicolored background. Uh, when we move over to the Galaxy S9 Plus, it is truly the brightest. You can clearly see it quite well. The colors are much punchier. Everything looks really visible, especially with all the sun. The Huawei P20 Pro still is visible, not as bright as the others. S9 Plus here takes the cake, followed by the iPhone 10. I will give the LG and then the Huawei. So there you have it guys, the two brightest displays are actually the Galaxy S9 Plus and the iPhone 10. Now the Galaxy S9 Plus did best with a multicolored background display with the iPhone 10 coming second and the LG G7 coming in third, really close third there with the Huawei P20 Pro. Now, when it comes to displays, uh, looking at displays with uh, white and black backgrounds, the iPhone 10 came out best there and the Galaxy S9 Plus came in second, the LG G7 came in third. So there you have it guys, in our little test here, the brightest display was not from LG, G, from not, not from LG with the G7, thank you. But I will say that those three top three displays do look really good in direct sunlight. So anyway, if you have any of these devices and you've tried it out, let me know what you think, guys. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Check out our other videos like our speaker test on all these devices you see here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. It's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.